So, <clears throat> I'm Johnny T, and I thought today I would just kind of show you what I've been up to. Well, kind of. So, I'm in the process of moving to a new house, and plus with work and everything, I haven't had a whole lot of time to record anything. But in between, you know, me doing all that stuff, I've been kind of working on something else here. Um, so, I'm just going to hop over here real quick. Underneath the tracks, we have a death. Okay, underneath the tracks, we have all these conveyor belts. Now, you only see two here, but as we go along, there's going to be a lot more. So this is basically the start of the track or the end of the track, however you want to look at it. And then if we cruise along, as we go along, more and more resources are going to be piped underneath the tracks. And there's quite a lot. <clears throat> I'm basically tearing down uh, old builds and redoing them kind of as I go along. So a lot of this stuff is going to look janky, very janky. <laughs> but it's all good. So you can see I got power poles going all over the place from the old builds. So there we got two more lines coming in, a bunch of lines coming in from down there. Uh, this track is going to extend out and go um, basically it's going to come down here all the way to the edge and go back that way. Kind of follow this track here. See like there you got Five different four types coming in. And if we come down along here and look at the belt, we have everything but uranium and SAM ore on this belt now. We're using a lot of ore. I don't know where all this oxide is going. I, it's not being used at the moment. The only thing that's <clears throat> actually being used is the coal. As of right now, anyways. So you can see there's another line that kind of comes off there. The only thing on that line so far is sulfur. There is a lot more ore types along through that valley that I can bring in. I just haven't got around to it yet. Then coming off that hill, we got crystal and uh, iron, I think. Yeah, I'll show more about that complex. Ah. And while I'm here, because that crossover just kind of irritates me. But, so, <clears throat> going back this way, I'm going to run another line. For, I don't know, more factory stuff or possibly more ore coming in. That uh, pipeline there is piping oil in. So let's give her this stupid crossover. I was originally, I was going to have a lot of crossovers. But since I had to deal with the new uh, signals and whatnot for update 5, I'm limiting the crossover anyway so this valley here I want to make it to that arch there basically and build something I don't know what yet and see this still being piped across It's weird how I turned off autosave and it's still autosaving. But see, there's still ore out there that I can collect. Like I said, pipe into that other line. We'll get there eventually. If you look out throughout this whole desert area, you're going to see all kinds of stuff being piped in. We're going to skip this massive building for now. And we'll come back to it a little bit later. 
Stop, 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 stop. I'll actually flip the switch. Here we go. Okay, right, so you can see I got the train signals in. Now, if you do at the beginning of like say a junction, do your path or path signal first, and then at the end of the junction, put a block signal, and it'll work just fine. Anyhow, you can see I got <clears throat> conveyor bells galore all over the place. A lot of this is going to be straightened out and fixed, maybe. I might just leave it all chaotic for now. I, I don't know. There goes one of my auto trains right there. Coal Express 1. You can see he's still full because... Oh, my coal factory is not using a whole lot of coal at the moment. Now, if you remember uh, the train line that I was talking about over there that's going to continue along the edge, it's going to circle back to that point. I still got to come along and do like bridge supports and whatnot. I got a few in, but I got a lot more to put in. We'll cross that bridge when I get there. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, that killed me. Anyhow, I would have went straight across here, but this is the edge of the map, and I kept dying, so I made a turn. And then I turned again. Yeah, that, that was brilliant, right? Anyhow, so right now we're getting ready to drop to our death. It's going to be great. And there's a train in the station, I think. That light should turn red. Yep. Basically, a train won't be able to enter this uh, station until we get out of here. So I'm going to park right outside the station. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you this. What I got going on here is, well, my coal factories. Got some water turbine thingamajiggies out there. Uh, I've come along here. Yeah. Okay. See if I can get up here. Coming in here, I split off. I split off going that way again in case I feel like expanding but my coal comes in goes through each one of these uh, power plants you know of course I got my hydro everything's in here running got power poles going along there to connect everything same with this side over here the water basically comes in it makes a big circle around the entire plant that way everything is covered and then outside I have more of those uh, water pumps and then I figured I had to build right across that and I just thought that was kind of cool so I think I'll wait to show you the train stopping let's check the map real quick see how far out the train is not that far Spoiler alert. This is the train station. <laughs> we'll get to there in a minute. These are out of fuel. That's what I got uncovered so far. It's, uh, yeah. Quite a lot. You know, I could be a jerk and just leave the train there and build another train real quick and let both these guys be blocked. I'm not going to do that. Any minute we should see him come flying down through there. I think down here, I guess I can go on. 
That way there's a path that goes through here somewhere goes through these rocks. I think it's right there. I'm gonna leave that open for vehicles. There's a train. Now he's just gonna be stuck there. Anyways, um so I'm gonna make a, a path going through there for wheeled vehicles, whatnot. I'm gonna continue the train line up. You can see I gotta cross over here. I can cross over without blocking the main line. Over here, I'm thinking about putting my, uh, uh, what they call them, smelters. Now, to kind of show you how this, is that horn in game? Weird. Okay. So, as I pull out, see, he's still not going to be able to go anywhere for a minute. And yes, that is tall enough for the trains to go under. So I'll get past that signal, he should take off. Yep. Okay. Now each one of these signals, they're just on the main line. They're just hanging out here in different spots. They're changing as we go by. Those are block signals. So basically I set those up in case a train breaks down or something. Um, it'll tell the next train line, hey, stop, or you're going to, you know, crash and have a fiery death. Next stop, train station. There's my other coal train express. The reason why I have two of them going right now is because I thought I was going to need two for the coal factory. But that's okay because I do need coal for something else and uh, well we'll get to that a little bit later chugga chugga choo choo all right now right now like I said the only thing I actually have been shipped back and forth is coal which will change in the next game session I'm gonna start doing the smelters which I'm gonna bring in iron copper caterium um, maybe bauxite coal oh well, not coal yet but whatever that can be processed into ingots Now, for something that I just think is absolutely cool for Update 5. <laughs> Those auto doors. A, they're stackable. So, A, they can go through them. So, we're not going to need this train anymore. So, I'm going to bring it to a stop. Get out of it. Get rid of it. What I deleted at this point. Okay, so all the trains are going to come in, you know, make a big circle, come back around. Each one of them has, like I said, these are just the ore types. So each ore type has its own train line. Now, each train station has a train in it that is fully loaded at the moment. So oh, that's where that cater, that box site's going. Is reloading still station. So using these uh, through floor conveyor belt things, I'm pumping up from the basement, if you will, into each one of these, and it's being fed all the way down this train line. Now there is 12 loading stations per train line, except for the crude oil. Um, and it's a lot. I mean. There is a lot of uh, resources here. Ton. I had to build around the rock here. Coming in here, I have basically my oil being piped into that. 
all the way down. As you can see, I'm going through a ton of coal. Now, we're going to step outside this building here. Eventually. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Hop in this vehicle that has. I don't think it has any fuel in it. We'll get out of that vehicle. I'll go get some fuel. I'm trying not to show you the, uh, but where is all the fuel? Okay, screw it. This over here is my miscellaneous storage. There is just a ton of random miscellaneous storage. It does go through its own sorter process. Everything gets sorted out. As you can see, there is just a bunch of random uh, stuff. Anyways, drop off some more random. Basically, every time I clear out my inventory, it goes. Then it gets sorted. And if I ever need any of this stuff, well, I have to hunt and pick because I have no organization other than that. Okay. I guess I'll just go ahead and show you. Oops, that's a wall. All right, so I got to go down one more. As you can see, this is all the stuff that's coming in from out the outside. You got this line coming in and then mirrored to that. Well, not really mirrored, but because I decided to build a wall around it for whatever reason. I guess so you can see what was Because that makes perfect sense. Now there is miners underneath here as well, so. Okay. So this is the line coming in from the other side. It all gets pumped up, goes through there. We'll talk about that later. Um and then everything from the outside here and from over there all gets pumped up through all this absolute craziness that this hover thing glitchy because I ran out of room over there I uh, kind of came up with a nightmare situation <clears throat> so everything gets pumped up through the floor <clears throat> it all goes through this series of monotonous that pipeline over there is overflow. We'll talk about that later. But unfortunately, when I was doing this, it, I didn't have everything I needed yet. Otherwise, I would have just gone straight up through the floor. But instead, everything comes through these mergers into that pipe. goes upstairs one more time. God. I forgot just how much went into this boarding facility. This is just the ore. All that stuff comes upstairs. And then it's all fed through all those programmable splitters. Goes into another splitter, goes into three containers each. All said overflow, which luckily there's not a whole lot of it because it's trains. Goes into this, comes out, comes out, circles around, comes in, splits off. This is a auto save. This is a loop. So basically, it doesn't allow it to completely fill up. It just keeps transferring it, allowing the pipelines to keep flowing. And then that comes back down. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're just going to delete the freaking foundation at this point. That comes down along here. Goes all the way down that line. 
Goes all the way along that wall. Do, 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 do. Comes along this wall, goes through a series of splitters yet again, where it all gets put back into the storage bins if there's no room. Then it comes out this overflow pipe and goes through all of these cargo containers. And then it gets shipped back up along there, all the way across, all the way back across, all the way down this line. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Obviously, I did not have a plan when I started. And then it comes into this merger, which goes right back upstairs, right back through the sorters. So this is endless cycle of what in the hell was I thinking? Okay, where the heck is that foundation? Back in real quick. Oh, and in update five, you can do crazy stuff like that. This. Okay, so once it gets up here, I can either pick it up by hand through the bottom portion. And as you can see, update five allows you to put labels. Yay! All that comes along this belt line of insanity, which goes downstairs. Yes, we're going back downstairs. This time I'm going to go outside because I'll just show you how it goes. This, by the way, is the way into the facility. And that's telling me it's time for me to go to work. Damn. All those belts come outside basically and shoot straight across. Now, this line here, that is my uranium line. So. When I actually start bringing uranium in, it's going to come through here, go through all that assortment crap, back to the train station. The outgoing train station. As you can see, I am still in the process of refilling the trains that I've filled up. And that's a train stopping on top of us. And then, come through this door. This is the basement. This is all the craziness of sorting all these pipes and getting them to the right train station. It was a lot. Not gonna lie, this took a very, very long time. So basically, this building is gonna be doomed, if you will. Um the uranium processing and all that. So I'm not going to build any more unless I build pretty high. It had to be really high. If I have all this real estate up here. It's just gigantic area overlooking that waterfall. It'd be kind of crazy not to want to build something here. And there's a spaghetti all over the place and if you're wondering what those weird things are over there those are actually cargo containers long story something, <clears throat> excuse me something that will possibly get deleted in the future you know what i might <coughs> use this for um i don't know who knows we'll figure it out later like i said first thing i gotta build is smelters and I'm going to do that somewhere. Until then, y'all. I hope you uh, kind of enjoyed the weird, absolutely not planned out tour whatsoever. Um, like I said, I just wanted to stop in, say hi, and kind of show you what I got going on. Until next time, y'all. Happy trails.